talking with John Moreland of SWT Float Planes. We're sitting here on a Sport Cub on floats, and this is not really one of the original configurations for the Sport Cub, was it, John? No, it wasn't. The float market has changed a lot in the last few years because initially when Cub Crafters certified these airplanes, uh, another manufacturer was available. That manufacturer is no longer in business, so there was no float choice for the last couple of years until Mead Float started building these floats. What kind of a customer is looking for a float plane at their Sport Cub? People that enjoy flying off of land on wheels and they also enjoy the flexibility of being able to land on water and there are some lovely places around the state of Florida here and other parts of the country where you just have some very nice pristine lakes you have access to with a float plane that you don't have with a, an airplane on wheels. What changes when you turn an LSA into a float plane? The rules allow an increase in the gross weight to accommodate some of the additional weight of the float. Some of the floats are designed where they actually produce a little additional lift when they're in the air, so you can carry a little more weight. And LSA rules, you pick up 110 pounds. Talk a little bit about the flying characteristics. How does the airplane change the way it flies when you put floats on it? Because these Mead floats are designed as well as they are, you barely feel any change at all. The airplane climbs the same pretty much. It takes a little bit longer to accelerate incrementally because you've got a little more empty weight but the airplane still has the same stability and you barely know that the floats are in place when you're flying around. Does it change the stall characteristics or stall speed? Not that I've noticed. When we evaluated the Mead floats when we first mounted them on this airplane, I did slow flight analysis and stall and also yaw stability and found everything to be pretty much as it was without floats on it. How much of a transition is there? Because obviously there are little bitty wheels, they're way far away from the cockpit. It's a different perspective for the pilot. Is there a big transition going from a regular tail dragger sports cub to this amphibious airplane? That is an excellent question and I was quite pleasantly surprised when I got my initial float check out that it was as easy as it was. You have to think a little bit differently in that you're starting to think like a boat skipper but the airplane behaves well and when you're on the water it functions like a boat in terms of getting up out of the water onto the step that's just like a boat getting on the plane and then once you break the water it's an airplane. And what about the ground handling characteristics? The ground handling characteristics for an amphib that is quite a bit different. First of all you land the airplane a little bit flatter so that you don't want to get the nose too high and try to do a three-pointer stall it in because then you'll drag the back of the floats. So you're landing fairly level with a little bit of power so that you're touching on the mains and then the nose gear on the floats come down and there is no nose wheel steering. You're steering by differential braking. So it requires some careful thinking and even though the airplane's capable of making a sharp turn, you don't want to do it because then sometimes the, you can't get the nose wheels lined up again to cast her properly so you can get, you can get the going in the direction that you want to go in. So it's a little bit different on the ground. Is this modification available for just about any sport cub? Uh, absolutely. This the, this set of floats that we're sitting on here is a, an LSA float that's available for any LSA type airplane. Uh, Mead Floats also bid, builds a 2200 pound category float that's available for any experimental airplane in that regard. So the, um, they'll work on any number of airplanes. What's different, I'm sorry, what's different is the, the struts and the geometry of the struts, uh, but the floats themselves stay the same. Great. Well, John, thanks for taking some time to talk with us on Aero TV. My pleasure. Aero TV is brought to you by... Are you ready for the next generation of light sport airplanes? Check out the all-new Bristol. Fun, fast, and easy to fly. Learn more at www.bristol.com. Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify, and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Explore No Limits Flying in the newly FAA certified Sea Ray Elite Amphibious LSA. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Elite with a Rotax 914 turbocharged engine is equally at home on the ground, in the air, or on the water. Check it out at www.searay.com.